Hey guys, here we are. We're back. We're back. We are in Los Angeles, California. Yep. And we're in this beautiful 30s apartment, and we're about to make it over for Karina and Eugenia. Right. They have lived here for three years. They've got almost nothing. They have, well, they have a few things, but everything they have is pretty much cobbled together from mostly from the streets and not even below vintage. So yeah. Just so there's a lot of upgrading here that we want to do. And so we're going to get started right now. So when we came into this space, it was relatively empty. And we really pulled it together beautifully with things that Eugenia and Corinna had and things we brought in. So the first thing I would do when assessing your space is look at what you've got and bring in your key pieces. So in this case, they had a sofa that worked, but we brought in a coffee table, lighting, a console, occasional chairs, we layered rugs, and we put in accessories. Another thing you want to think about when you look at a space like this is how is this going to be cut up and where are you going to create functional zones? So in this apartment, because it's large and it has high ceilings, we were able to create three separate functional zones. The first one is the seating area. So it's comprised of the sofa, the coffee table, and all of this occasional furniture. Now the girls can have parties, they can have people sit here, five, six people, they can even serve a meal around the coffee table. So it really is this functional zone. The second thing we did was create an entryway. So we got a console, we put up some art, there's lighting, it's a place to drop your keys, a place to drop your mail, and it's right when you walk in the door, it feels really inviting. And the last zone that we created was, I call it storage and organization. So we took their beautiful buffet that was antique, and we put a salon wall above it, we added all kinds of storage details to the top of it, and really curated it so it feels finished and complete. Once you have your basic furniture laid out, in order to make a place feel very personal, it's great to add in things like textures. So this room was really open, the acoustics were really loud, and so in order to make it feel comfy, cozy, nesty, to be the room that they wanted it to be, we layered in carpets, we layered in pillows, we layered in throws, and all of a sudden the space has this new dimensionality to it. It feels complete and finished. The other thing that Eugenia and Corinna asked us to do was to curate the personal. And by that I mean they had things in here that were art that's theirs, art they've made, things they've collected along the way, and they couldn't really figure out how to display it. So we really wanted to incorporate these things into the decor, so we did it really tastefully. We hung some of their pinatas, we hung all of their artwork, we got it off the floor, onto the walls, we layered in, found things they had like eagle feathers and dried florals and really made the space work but feel curated and feel very personal. I am so excited about how this space turned out. I think that we went from a great space to the space that you guys wanted. Layers, zones, it's functional, it's decorated, it feels happy, it feels curated. We brought in all of your personal things, we made it grown up but happy, which is what you wanted. I feel like we succeeded there. Um, this could not have been more fun. I'm sort of surprised. I actually didn't <laughs> think we were going to make as big a difference as we did. This is, this but it big. really feels different. And like usual, there's going to be all kinds of extras on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. So join Max and I next time when we make over... America, one room... At a time.